hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the fabric we are going to use for today stay tuned and watch the process i cut out my base yes this is the base with the width 8 inches plus 1 inch allowance for sewing then i cut out the length and the length was 51 inches yes 51 inches is a long base 51 inches for the length after which i fold the fabric but before folding it i made sure i was using the right side i fold the fabric then i also make use of my sewing machine to run the side just the side then i kept it aside because i'll be needing other fabric then i cut out three inches width then the length was 14 inches i'll be folding this fabric also but make sure it's at the right side the folding so i'll fold it and i'll put it aside to use my sewing machine after which i cut out another fabric with the width two inches then my length was 14 inches i'm not going to fold this one i'll just keep it aside straight down to my sewing machine this is the base sewing it down then i'll also sew the other fabric carrying 14 inches length then three inches width yes this is it i also run this then after this i ironed my fabric looking very neat iron all the fabric that will be needing for this production after ironing this particular fabric that wasn't folded i'm going to make use of my safety pin and pass it through the base i'm going to pass it through the base and this was how i did it though it's a long one but i have to try and make it possible Okay, after doing that, I removed the safety pin and I did an hidden folding to cover the rough edges. Now, make use of the same machine to run down that particular piece. But before then, I brought out my elastic. I'm going to measure. 7 inches on the elastic and that's what I'm going to be using I also make use of the safety pin place it on the elastic and pass it through the fabric that I've already joined The passing process after passing the elastic through the fabric I'll also need my sewing machine to tag the edge of the fabric so this was when I was stitching the first base the both side after stitching the both side 
I also repeated the same process with the elastic. By stitching the both sides. After stitching it, this is what I got. The work is not done yet. I will have to stitch it together to get a scrunchy headband. And this is the outcome of our production. Wow, it's so beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel like our page and share thank you